Good morning and good evening and welcome back to another video. My name is Tavin Zizi and recently I just graduated two months ago in December from the University of Wisconsin-Madison with a engineering degree in mechanical engineering. And today I'm going to quickly be going over the note-taking strategy that I used to earn honors distinction in mechanical engineering and graduate within the top 20% of my class with regards to GPA. So let's get into it. Quickly before I start going into my note taking strategy, I want to touch on a few things that are actually more important. If you don't go to class and you don't do your homework, it's not possible that you're going to get good grades. Your note taking strategy doesn't matter. So before you even start thinking about your note taking strategy and all that, do the most important things first. Go to class, do your homework, do the required work that is necessary in order to get these good grades. Perdón, tengo una pregunta. ¿La sonida uh, va a terminar o no? Sí, ya va a terminar. ¿En cuántos minutos piensas? ¿Dos minutos? Ok, voy a, voy a esperar. Gracias. Perfect, there's alarms going off in the background. But since I know you guys didn't come here to listen to me lecture on how to get good grades, you came here to have me explain to you how I took good notes in order to achieve my 3.8 GPA in mechanical engineering. So the number one thing that I tell everyone is you need to take repetitive notes. You need to pick a note strategy that allows you to take notes more than once. Because just writing down some equation or um, some formula one time does not truly help you memorize it or actually learn it. I did this by repeatedly taking my notes. I would take notes once in class and then I would redo my notes after class on the back side. And another thing, always take notes by hand, physically write them out. Just simply taking the slides from the professor and putting them onto your iPad without actually writing anything will not actually help you learn. You're just copying information at that point without even actually having that mind muscle connection of writing it out. So always make sure that you write out your notes. So now you know that yes, repetitive notes is by far the best way to actually learn information to help you do good in school. But now you might be asking, how did I personally do that? So I'll show you right now on my iPad. So as you can see on my iPad, I have two pages pulled up right now. On the left side right here, I have the actual notes that I took from class. By the way, I watched all of my lectures online, recorded if possible, because it allowed me to actually pause the lecture and write down the information, understand it, because typically engineering professors go way too f fast in lecture for you to actually comprehend and digest the information. So I recommend watching online if you're able to and if you're diligent. But like I was saying, on the left side, I have my actual notes. This is how I took my notes. I would start with a circle, as you can see right here, for the main topic. And then under it, I would use little dashed lines for the subtopics that come under that main talking point from the lecture. As you can see, I have a bunch of information, a bunch of different colors. But the main important thing is I always, I always put stars next to important ideas and I always highlight the equations from lecture that I know I will need in the future. Or if I end up needing them in the future, I will go back through my notes and re-highlight them. What this allowed me to do is, as you can see on the right, I always created a formula sheet or a kind of like review sheet for every single class. And I would specifically put only the key, most important ideas from class, equations or concepts that I guarantee will be on the test. And I would rewrite these by hand on my formula sheet. This gave me that ability to um, repeat my notes. And it also gave me a formula sheet to utilize while I am doing homework so that I'm not scrolling through large amounts of information. As you can see on this left, I have 32 pages of notes from this class, but I have all of my important ideas put onto only three pages, uh, three in one line pages of notes. Honestly, 
I would say this helped me the most in my note-taking strategy because it's super underestimated how important it is to have all of your formulas in one area so that you're able to quickly go through it, spend less time doing your homework and spend more time actually learning what you're supposed to be doing and the important formulas. Another strategy that I used to actually repeat my notes was after quizzes, I would fully redo the quizzes, but make sure I do them correctly. I would fix my mistakes. I'll show you what that looks like on my computer. iPad, computer, what? So as you can see here, I have um, multiple notebooks for homework, quizzes, whatnot. Here is my quiz notebook for my um, measurements and uh, electronic systems class. As you can see, I actually went through the quizzes and redid them after the fact on this notebook. I didn't get any credit for this. This was essentially restudying, but it was a way of redoing the information, concreting the information and the uh, correct way of solving the questions from the quizzes in my brain because these quizzes and questions from the quizzes almost always show up on the tests, which typically end up being worth, you know, 40, 50% of your grade. And I would go through, do the quizzes, and then highlight the answers and underline some of the most important equations that I used from the quiz. And I did this for every single quiz because it always helps you prepare for the next one. So that being said, these are just some of the note-taking techniques that I personally used and that personally helped me achieve my high GPA and um, honors distinction studying mechanical engineering at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. But once again, I want to reiterate that there are other aspects to studying and to university that, that sometimes even have a bigger impact on your total grade, such as the way that you study for tests. So if you would like me to make a video going over my techniques that I use to study for tests while studying mechanical engineering throughout university, leave a comment in the section below and I'll do it. Well, that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you guys liked the video and now have a better understanding on some of the techniques that I personally used to take good, high quality and effective notes while taking my classes at the University of Wisconsin, Madison. I also hope that you guys are able to utilize some of these techniques to improve your note taking skills and techniques. If you liked the video, I would really appreciate if you guys give it a thumbs up, leave a subscribe and uh, comment in the section below if you, there are any uh, topics that you'd like me to speak on. Catch you next one.